Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Life Raw. I apologize that it took me so long to get this video out. However, you can see in this video we've done a lot of work. Well, you can't really see right now. You may be thinking, well, what's different? This. <laughs> so, uh, as you can see, we have on one single so segment, we have the letter A displayed. Okay? Now this, what this allows us to do is us to actually change the segments and have different letters or numbers set there. So I just have a few right here set up for you. Uh, with switches so we'll go ahead and we'll show you guys what B is so if we flip that switch and we go back to the screen you can see there's B now let's go back and let's uh, let's do D and let's skip right over C let's do D and if we fly back here you can see that we have D it's different from B because it doesn't have the line okay so basically, these are just uh, pieces of the segment displayer that actually have the memory of knowing what to display for this. So I'm going to build it in a second, but first I just want to go over what it exactly is. So right here we just have the levers, and they are expressing just a power input, an input of redstone power going to these, which invert a torch, which power these off rather so when when the torch is inverted it powers these off the redstone lines off and allows these torches to be on so i'm just going to quickly show you if we have a redstone power going in to let's do a different one let's do let's do uh, f if we have a redstone line going into f indicated by the torch it inverts this torch and turns this line of redstone off now look at the torches on the side you can see the torches on the side when there's no power are off because this redstone line is inverting these torches on the on the side of it. Well, when it gets power, the exact opposite happens, and these torches are on. The torches are going ahead and powering the line underneath here, the blocks uh, the blocks that are diagonal and down right here. So these different redstone lines, wherever there's a torch, that line is being powered. Wherever there's not a torch, the line is not being powered. You can see here. So this, these different powered sources or not powered sources go in. So for instance, this one on this uh, F signal, it is being powered. So we're going to follow that over here. Okay. And we have it inputted in here and inverted this torch right here. By inverting that torch with the system that we had before in the last video, it powers that and creates our F letter. Okay. So basically this just works as memory. And uh, it allows you to go ahead and choose which letter and everything or, or number you want to do. Now, I do have numbers up here. And the reason why it actually looks so big uh, is because just the way I stacked it on top of each other. We could have it extending all the way out. But I thought, let's conserve a little bit of space and stack the numbers on top of the letters. It's exactly the same thing as just the number or sorry, the letters down below. I just took the signal and raised it up here and so now it's just risen above the other ones so let's go over here and let's actually build one of them just to show you guys and make sure you guys understand how to make it themselves so the first piece of doing this is color coding you can see this one is green i'm going to have all of this column green all of this column purple all of this column or uh sorry yellow and all of this column red the very first step is to actually go ahead and run your lines down Basically, we just need to have the lines in a uh, horizontal path. Okay, it really does not matter how we trickle all the pieces down, just that we do it. So here we're going to go ahead and we're going to bring that piece down, bring this piece down. All these pieces, basically they all need to be diagonal and down so they can invert the torches that we have placed. Except for, of course, these pieces, because this is actually connected to this torch. So by turning this torch off, it turns this piece off. So that, that's a little piece that actually saved us so we don't have to have as many lines as if we did not do it that way. So let's go ahead and let's just bring all these down diagonal. Perfect. And then these are the last ones up here. Okay, now we just have to get them all, like I said, out into a horizontal path. For this one, we'll go ahead and we'll just have this run straight just like this. Okay. This one we're going to have run next to it. This one is next. Then, of course, this one. And you have to remember that the actual 
uh, redstone repeaters are very 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 important in this piece because we got to make sure that the redstone signals can uh, sustain the power if they're given power um, just to make sure that doesn't die out and then we're messed with some segment that we don't really want this piece is going to travel all the way down to over here and as you can already see this is this is actually actually sorry we, we don't even need this because this is powered by the other one so forget about this piece oh let's place that one back now we're going to focus on this one so we are going to go in sections of twos really doesn't matter this just allows us to not be spread out we're going to actually make this one right here three so we can put a repeater to make sure our power doesn't go out and continue our path and then land it down run the redstone up here and basically for all these we're just going to run them down to the point on the ground okay now we're just going to go ahead and we're going to place some repeaters at some portions just to again make sure that our full uh, redstone line is getting power place some over here and just to be safe we're going to place uh, place a little bit more than we actually will need to uh, just to be safe for this run these all across better to be safe than sorry okay so now you can see that we have for every redstone torch we have a line that is running out okay just like this now what we're going to be doing is we're going to, be to extend these a little bit since I'm going to only show you one extend these almost done and last one there okay so now what's going to happen is we're going to diagonal from this build up three and then at this middle block we're going to build over break the block that was in the middle and pull it all the way across to the last line right there now we're going to take our redstone and we're going to run with it place a repeater to make sure it gets all the blocks another repeater just for good measures and then run it to right there now you can place it on top of this block or you doesn't really matter you don't have to okay now we're going to run redstone out from there just two blocks so we know where the uh, input is if we were to have torches right now right there it would power this redstone you see and negate any torches that we have here since we don't and we if say we go ahead and we place the torch down it turns that on okay so now is the difficult part for the first few ones after you actually figure out and understand how you ran these pieces down then it'll be much easier uh, to produce it uh, produce the letters and stuff however for now we're going to have to think a little bit so right now with no torches placed down we have the three horizontal lines placed well to make an A we're not going to need the po the bottom pieces the bottom horizontal pieces so we need to find where they are okay they're right here and right here and they're exactly separated by one so we can know that so for this one we'll place one right there and one right there and if we make sure and follow them back they do go right here but this is what I was talking about you got to be careful you got to make sure that the redstone signal gets completed with the uh, has enough power to reach it so there you go now if we go back and we look the bottom two pieces are missing which is good now we need the two pieces on either side to be powered well since they're not since they're negated right now right here by this torch we need to negate this torch so let's follow it down and this one is right here and oh, if I can get to the other side <laughs> we see that the other piece is right here so it's all the way down here so if we follow this down here and place a torch it'll negate that turning those on so now we have this let's see it might not have been able to reach it go ahead and check yep it did not it was not able to reach it so this is more of just a trial and error however this time if we go let me just set the time to zero this time if we look we have our full piece right there 
Now we need to get these two bottom sides on. So again, just like the other pieces, we look here, the first line is right there. And if we go on the other side here, the second line is right here. So we just need to follow this one across, place the torch. And you see now we need to go ahead and since that one didn't fully go through, we need to check and see why. So it looks like it stopped getting power at this point. So let's just place a repeater there. Now it has full power. And check it. And bam, we got an A. So we're going to, for the rest of these, we're going to just place down our redstone in the same line. Just extend this as far as you need it. Or you can do the stacking system like I did, which I think it, it conserves more space. Uh, it is It was a little bit difficult trying to figure out how to wrap the signals around while keeping them uh, not touching and keeping them the same without using a ton of uh, redstone repeaters because although redstone repeaters are helpful when you have a bunch of them lined up in a row there are some bugs uh, that can occur or it just takes a long time to use them so just be cautious about that okay so now I just want to show you one last thing now that we have our A produced on the screen well Say we do not want the A to be produced on the screen, or say we want to go ahead and build B. Just remember to go ahead and place a torch there, signifying that we're getting a signal to that. And also you have to make sure you have to watch out and make sure uh, repeater is not where a torch is. So we'll just move this back one. There we go. All these torches are now off, which means we have our three piece right here. Okay. So that's it for today's episode, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give a thumbs up down below. I apologize it took so long to get this video out. However, you probably can understand seeing that that was this, you know, a pretty big, uh, significant big thing that we had to do, which is a very large portion of what this computer is actually of. Now, just be careful because there's a lot of these that you have to do. You have to do one um, for each segment displayer on here. Okay, so this right here, this green one, is just one out of 11 that you have to do. And I calculated that there are, with, with all the letters and numbers, 432 uh, different signals that you have to do for every single one. Okay? So there's 432. I know that sounds like a large number because it is. There's 432 separate lines right here of memory that you have to make for the computer. So it's going to take a while. Uh, so I guess just continue the series whenever you guys are finished with that or want to see more. So thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye.